Black History Month is a month where we look at all the contributions that African Americans have made on society. So I'll be talking about an African American who is, who is not as well known as others. Who is Gordon Parks? Gordon Parks was born to poverty and segregation in Fort Scott, Kansas Parks, where he was the youngest of 15 children. Parks attended a segregated elementary school, and because of this, was not allowed to participate in activities at his elementary school or his high school. When Parks was 14 years old, his mother died, and he was sent to live in the Twin Cities in Miliatras with his older sister Maggie Lee and her husband. Parks was drawn to photography early in his life when he saw images of migrant workers taken by the Farm Security Administration photographers in a magazine. After he saw that, he would later buy a camera and would teach himself how to use it. Little did he know this, that this would be the start of his career. Why was he so important? Well, in short, Gordon Parks was so important because of his journalism and his photography that revealed important aspects of American culture, and he became known for focusing on issues of civil rights, poverty, racial relationship, and urban life. Park captured the violence and fear experienced by gang members and their families, and positioned as, as one of the most important documentary photographers. But what did Gordon Parks do exactly? Well, let's start from the beginning. Parks' first photograph got the attention of Marva Lewis, wife of boxing champ Joe Lewis, who told Parks to go to the big city. In 1941, Parks would later win a photograph fellowship with the Farm Security Administration for his photos of the inner city. After that, Parks would write a letter to Roy Strike, who worked at the FSA Historic Division. Parks was asking that he that he can become a photographer at the unit. He was then accepted. In 1942, his work at the FSA quickly put Parks on the map, making him one of the first high profile black photographers working in America. Parks would continue to document city images in his photography essays. In 1948, of a gang leader in Harlem that won him the first African American to be named staff photographer at Life Magazine, Parks would have this position for around 20 years. Park also took portraits of important African American leaders, Malcolm X, Sparkly Carmichael, and Muhammad Ali. Gordon Park's most famous photographs include American Gothic, Esther Dorothy Musfrat Fashion, Red Jackson, Emerging Man, Outside Looking In. Fantiel da Silva, the Fontanalities at the Poverty Board. In 1969, Parks would become the first African American to direct a major Hollywood movie, the film adaptation of The Learning Tree. He wrote the screenplay and composed the score for the film. Gordon Parks was sadly passed away in 2006 at the age of 93. His legacy still lives on in his photographs that he took. And with that, I'll leave you with a quote. The guy who takes a chance, who walks, who walks lines between the known and the unknown, who is unafraid of failure, will succeed. Well, with that, thank you for watching. Have a great day.